Welcome back, YouTube. This is Temp Sage here once again. Black with black, back with more plants for zombies, and we're just gonna jump right into more mid games. Starting off with Coral Combat. Is this just a typical level? No, it's conveyor level. Figured as much. So yeah, basically how this works is the zombies can, I believe, walk through these portals. As well as I think your plants projectiles can also go through these two portals to uh, basically end up in the opposite portal. Which is very weird conceptually. You know, I appreciate if the game can make some defensive plants, thank you. So for example, if I maybe if I just do this, yeah, the peas go through uh, this portal. So same story here. If I do this. Yeah, the peas go through this portal, come out the portal up here. Very weird idea for a little- I think if I do it like this, it probably does the inverse. Where they go through here and come out here, which is very weird. So I'm gonna need to actually... Or... It's really hard to tell. Oh yeah, he's not doing it. I guess the, the plants are actually smart enough to realize that does not work. It's actually really neat. Yeah, this guy's not firing anything. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Accidentally... Did I fuck up my... Okay, no, I didn't. I thought this screwed up my, uh... My scene in LPS, because I think I mentioned... I think I've shown in an older episode how I record and I pretty much have to play the game in window mode to actually have the game record properly. Okay, yeah, and every so often through the level, they'll... Change positions so that one move so that I don't think <clears throat> they move down here. My throat was a little stuffy there for a second. I need to put some plants here. So notice how dangerously close this guy's getting. I need to put some plants like before these port this portal right here so they can actually do something. Um let's do this one right here, I guess. Let me put a cactus up here, at least. Uh, this guy might be kind of annoying because, you know, look at heads. So I can just put a torch wood right there. Let me actually start putting some torch woods just down in general. Mm, okay, the portal's moving again. Oh, that's a really awkward position for one. Surprisingly, no balloon zombies have shown up quite yet. The watch I say that, and then one melee shows up. Yep. Okay, thankfully. Alright. Yeah, the balloon zombies can actually just dodge via the stupid portals as well. In fact, yeah, you see there, <laughs> the one in the middle row went here, went here, went here, went here. <laughs> it's really funny. How I presume the portals are not, like, they don't have, like, a set, like, pattern to them. I'm gonna presume they're totally random, so there's, like, a good degree of replay replayability in this uh, mini game, but, you know, it's a conveyor level, so it's not... That interesting idea. Need to put these here. Uh, let me at least make sure I have. Yeah, okay, I know how I'm packed by almost on every row now. Put that down. Uh, start putting these SP shoes in the front now. Why not? Put the weaker offensive plants in the front. They're pretty expendable at this point. I need to keep my conveyor as uh, read up as possible. Yeah, okay, this one's a really quick one because, again, it's just conveyor level, so no real, like, grind game of getting sun and trying to make sure we stay alive. So that maybe we need to use this here. 
Make sure we have at least two more cherry bombs so we can just say bye bye to this level pretty quickly. And final wave. Those guys are gone, and yeah, we're over oh, pretty quick. And we get access to Zombie Nibble Zombie Quick, which... Is this just like... Less like this, like the big trouble little zombie, but where all the zombies are just super fast, or like it's at times two speed, I'm not sure. But that's not here, let's go to the next one, which is Calm Like a Seam. Which, yeah, that's a lot of plants. That's a lot of pots. First, I think it was the first roof level um, in a game we've had so far. But yeah, the way this works is... Every um, plant you put down affects an entire ass column. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, let's throw these up here because they need to be relatively close. And they could be there was coffee beans there. Make food, they're at least being nice to us and giving us a good degree of time to set up. I'm basically just telling the first row of plant a pasta to just fuck off. <laughs> okay, two more jalapenos. There's one down, there's another one down. It's all the potato mines. I need to probably do something up here. Just blow up all those guys or just light them all on fire. Okay, also, yeah, this also applies to all of the the pots too, so you can plant- I can basically sacrifice this whole row of pots. Not really clear, I'll probably just end up doing that, naturally. Oh, no, that is not good. Okay, thankfully the jalapenos do get rid of the ladders. Oh, they don't, because I see them still here. Oh, and I think that the- much the, uh, Magnum Shroom just- Rapid. Okay, now all hell is pretty loose. Yeah, even with five shrooms at once, uh, that's still a lot of dudes. Just to compensate for, you know, one plant equals for five, basically. Yeah, I might as well just put these down just for the sake of bringing up my conveyor. Alright, we're done here. About halfway done. Uh, let me put pumpkins down here if it uh, comes down to it. Oh no, they're gang Now yeah, this is scary. Because I really need the jalapenos to deal with these guys. Like, the mountain poles do a lot of damage, but the problem is that these guys have, like, a metric ton of HP. Oh, that's also not good. Oh, this is getting very dicey very quickly. They're just Oh, no. I think I might actually end up losing this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose this more than likely. Yeah, I'm... I'm just gonna rest. I may have to restart this. Oh, lord. Uh, yeah, I'm restarting this. <laughs> Jesus. I guess I just have to save my jalapenos for uh, later in that. Yeah, okay, it seems to be predetermined. Or is it? I can't tell. Okay, yeah, these definitely look predetermined. From the looks of it. Hey, this is literally the same setup from before, so I actually do have to wait until the game gives me... Um, the game gives me those jalapenos again. I'm gonna at least have two for this. I might have to actually like, kind of concentrate a little bit this time around. 
So pardon me if I don't really end up talking that much for this level. Okay, I need to hold the, um, with this jalapeno for that next wave while all the gargantuars. Or at least one of them. I kinda wish I had bought- there's an upgrade in the store where if you plant a pumpkin down, you can just use another pumpkin to repair it. That would probably come in handy right now. But it is fairly expensive. A lot of the stuff in the store for upgrades are pretty expensive. Oh, squash. That's actually really good. Okay, so they don't- I think the first couple plants can be predetermined, but not all of them. Oh god. Okay, I may have to actually burn my jalapenos here. With all the frickin' ladders. Another layer of- Pardon that, someone called me. Hey, when that happens, when someone just calls me in the middle of recording. Okay, we thankfully survived. I would like another layer of pots, so I can just put them here and just put a bunch of squashes down. And here come the gargantors now. And thankfully I got my wish. Good, the green are down. Thank God. Alright, okay, more melon pulls. Good, more damage. This guy just got eviscerated by melons. Don't ask how that works. <laughs> At least in the literal sense, in the figurative sense, they're being eviscerated. I'll probably end up just saving the jalapenos for the big wave at the end. Let me at least put these down. Okay, this went a lot better than the last time. Maybe just because I was a little too quick to use my jalapenos last time. I think we the Jack and Black zombies are pretty weak. And from all the spread damage that's happening, they don't, and also the magnetrons, they don't end up really like using their jack in the boxes, thank god. It's part of me if like my voice sounds a little scratchy, because I kind of like only woke up and got out of bed like an hour or so ago. Don't know how how, how much that comes up on recording, should I feel it in my own throat myself? Oops. I love the synchronized throw of all the gargantuars. Really? Now you give me chompers? Sure, I'll put them here, I guess. And we're done. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be the second time around. Well, like, Hercantipore falls during the trophy animation. Alright, so we have Wakazami back. That's cool, because we haven't seen this since, like, what, when... 19, 110? I don't remember when this that uh, level showed up. It was sometime during the second the second level, like the front yard at nighttime. Uh, I think we yeah we still have plenty of time, so let's go through uh, Bottle Slab Bonanza here. Which, as you can tell, uh, okay, so this is actually a regular level. So sunflowers, obviously. Um, let's go for. Should we do caramel pulse? They're kind of expensive. I mean, I think repeaters are probably just better overall. Let's do Torchwood, let's do Tall Nut Pumpkin. We need the Jalapeno and the Spike Weed, which will be kind of helpful for the um, Zombonis as well. Uh, Tangleweed, I need the. I, need, I actually need to bring the Lily Pad, that's kind of mandatory. Um, maybe I don't need the Tall Nut, maybe I'll just bring Squash maybe instead. I think I'll bring Squash actually. I should have put the lily pad all the way over here, but oh. Oh, right. I kind of forgot that the level starts like this. Where you have four lanes of freaking ice sheets immediately. That's kind of scary. 
I'm guessing they're not going to immediately bombard us with freaking Zamboni, uh, Frick Bobsled Zombies, but... Okay, the start to this level is much slower than usual, so... They're probably just being merciful. Okay, we have one jalapeno to start with. I can't afford to at least put down enough sunflowers. Let's start putting down the... I have enough for one. Okay, let's get rid of this one right now. Because, well, I'm, I don't... Oh, crap. Um, that's not good. Oh. Okay, that's less scary than I thought it would be. Although, at the same time, I really need something for the offense right now. Because... It, well, this is just sad. I'm restarting. Because <laughs> I was screwed. Okay. I think we actually need just the standard pea shooter here. Um... Actually, Snow Pea, the, these zombies here are really weak, so I actually don't need to bring anything too crazy in terms of offensive plants. I can actually just afford to bring just like a regular old pea shooter, actually. Um, obviously the jalapeno, that's kind of mandatory. Um, let's bring the Tangle because it's cheap. You know the, the, these zombies aren't that, it's, the, it's only the regular brown coats that are down there. Uh, I'll bring just a regular old walnut. Um, I mean the squash, I'll squash, and I got two more slots to fill. Could farm some money with Marigold, I guess. But yeah, I guess I can maybe show off the Marigold. It's funny how like the ice just spawns in suddenly. It looks very funny to me. I think we're just gonna largely ignore the water rose for now because there's it's just the game just needs to lots of bombard me with um bobsleds early on and no like zambonis yet because all the ice is set up right now. So we we'll keep playing sunflowers until the uh, boss that starts showing up. Alright, we have at least enough for one guy now. <laughs> Let me throw up through there. Alright, the zombies are in fact coming. And let's do this. Why is there another row of them showing up on the same lane? That's really annoying. I'm actually going to have to do that right now. And there's a Zamboni showing up. You have to put a squash down. This is going to take a while, though. Um, do I... Well, let's at least get some guys going here. <coughs> I don't know why it's now recording where my throat says, like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna be very annoying right now. Come on, game. Just need a little bit more recharge time. Come on. Come on, you. Oh no. Oh no. This is, uh, not good. Please, 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 please. Get the frick out of here. Okay, thankfully the Zambonis are the, le the least of my problems, because I can just put down in the squash. Man, they're going to town on that walnut. Oh, that walnut is gone, gone. <sighs> oh my god, how the hell am I supposed to do this level? Oh my god, okay, the, 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 unfortunately there's a lot more to go. Because they're not giving me an inch. Another one? Just, just 
guy. We're not even gonna... Oh no, <laughs> look how little we set up. Okay, not gonna lie, this is the time I wish I had the freaking imitator right now. Okay, we can probably start recovering. I say that as soon as a freaking. I say that as soon as the Zomboni shows up. I put a spike wheat down. Yeah, no, I'm not making through this level with all my freaking lawnmowers. I am boned. Game, stop! Please, just let me fucking try to get a chance to get a grip here. No, no, uh. No lily pads quite yet. Maybe I should have brought Cherry Bomb or something. Oh, great. Sorry if I'm being really quiet, I have to actually like really pay attention here. I've only got one of them. Jesus, man. I think I might have to actually restart again. Definitely be the repeaters or something. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, I need to get rid of you guys. Now, okay, now this is where the game's just gonna start fucking with me. Oh my freaking god. Yeah, no, I'm losing this. There's like no way in hell I'm not losing this level. Like, this is so diff this is actually really hard. Like, how, how is this supposed to deal with, like, a million zombies at once? Like, you know, like this. I need to jalapeno you assholes. Like, jalapeno is, like, basically mandatory in the soul. brought the freaking like cherry bomb or something with me.
Yeah, the pool cleaner is virtually going. My freaking god, stop spawning zombonies! Stop it! <laughs> I may have to actually cut this here. Frustrated right now. Oh yeah, I'm losing this. Like, look at this shit. I. This isn't fun. This isn't fun anymore. Yeah, I lose. Or do I? No, not right now. Except I literally have one lawnmower, and it's on a lane that is not protected. God. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Uh, my third frickin' attempt on this one level. Uh, Alright, you know what? Did we only do, like, nah, that's the wrong mode, that's puzzle mode. We did two and a half games. Uh, you know what? You know what? It, we're like 27 minutes. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut it for this episode, and I think next time we'll see if we can try and figure out how the hell to deal with freaking Bob's Lebonanza, because Jesus Christ, that level is so fucking hard. I'll see you guys in the next one while I try to recover my sanity. Peace. <laughs>